is my studio. Welcome to the Welders Cathedral. I'm going to be showing you all I fabricate and create here. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, my name is Dotun Bukwala. I'm a metal sculptor and also a painter. I graduated from Obafemi Awolowo University in 2008. I've been practicing my metal sculpture since then till now. So I remain Olu Dotun Bukwala. A lot of people call me mad artist. A lot of people call me popular. Some people call me some call me metal art. so different people call me different names so whichever one you like pick it <laughs> when well, i was born on the 7th of april 1981 so this year i'll be 40. I'm from Ogun State in Abeokuta or Deta local government. Well, metal is a combination of two words. I mean, two, two, one word and one alphabet. Now, if you break it into two, metal means earring. Then the A that uh, was added to the back, it's. Uh, Number one, A means number one. I mean, it means first. And A is the first letter of an alphabet. And at the same time, I could say, uh, I could break it down and say, metal, that is metal made me. You know, I've practiced a lot of uh, different aspects of art. I've done painting, sign writing. I've done cake making. I've done all sort of ass kissing job. But when I, started doing metal sculptures. It transformed my life, it transformed my totality, it transformed the experience, transformed my finances and you know it changed the narrative of my struggle as a person. So metal lami that is and at the same time you say metal you know so I just try to play with words that uh, are, you know that can be used as a metaphor in my works. So we can break it down to different things. Metal means 13. And 13 has its own spiritual significance. A lot of people believe that 13 is a is an unlucky number. So I focus on the unlucky number and I discover that if you write 13, you have one and three. So spiritually, if you have three, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three of them come to one. So we want to break the word 13, you know, we can break it into different, you know, different meanings. And you see that metal is loaded. So, metal is loaded. Metal is loaded. Metal is I got admitted into Bafemi Awolowo University in 2005, precisely, as a direct entry student. And it wasn't easy because I left from our Chicken Technique to Ife. It was a tough, it was a very tough time. We have to sleep in the studio every day. You know, we probably I couldn't afford to pay for hostel, you know. But I was sleeping in the classroom, doing my work. But I was used to doing PP. You know, we call what what we call PP is a personal project. So when your lecturer gives you assignment on A4 paper. Uh, I could just finish that within two hours and, you know, do my personal work. So, I was busy doing my personal work and almost every weekend I traveled to Lagos to also. So, you know, it was a very tough one that, uh, it wasn't rosy, it wasn't really rosy. But I had this mindset that there will be a breakthrough one day. So, when I was in my 300 level, you know, I, I had 
a little bit of breakthrough as a student. You know, I sold some some of my works, so I got a car for myself as a three level student, and it was it was beautiful because I could drive, I could pay for my hostel, I could do all sorts of things, and even at that, I still believe that I wasn't where I wanted to be, so I was still very focused. So. When I left 2008, I returned back to Wayne because something was telling me that the experience wasn't enough. So I came, I went, I went back to the same university for my masters. So I started my masters 2010, 2011 precisely, and I finished 2014. After that. I still retain myself, I, you know, I, I stay back within the academic environment to start exploring, to start thinking, to innovate, to, you know, to think and to, to create a lot of things. So from then, 2005 till now, I'm still within the, the academic environment, exploring and impacting life into young ones that have had the tough times like mine when they started. Ah, my best food vendor in Oyu then was Yala, <laughs> and I love his pounded yam and uh, goosey soup. Well, my best spot on campus was uh, the mountain. I love to climb the mountain. I want to see the scenery and enter inside those banana plantation. So I, I climbed the mountain behind the uh, African uh, Department, Department of Dramatic Arts. So most of the time, that's where I run to, to think. I think OE is the only place that uh, you can be and explore your life in totality. I was able to explore the food, the nature, the women, the, the academic excellence. So, you know, everything about OEU is just unique. You can't really say one particular thing that you enjoy. You just enjoy everything. Well, you know, my best phrase in the OEU and term is uh, Aluta against all oppression. Forward ever, backward never. You know, any OEU student that is not built in that spirit, oh my <laughs> That is it. Then he told me I was I finished as the best student in my department. It was a beautiful experience. Like after all the pressure, after the frustration from lecturers, you know, some of them feel okay, you park where the HOD used to park his car, and uh, all you deserve is a D. And at the end of it all, you still finish as the best student. So it was one of the best experiences, best moments of my life. You know, I was supposed to serve 2008. He said, no, your resource is not ready. And I was like, okay, no problem. So I went to South 2009. My, my mate South 20, 2008 when they finished. So just to oppress, you know, but uh, here I am. The oppression has made me grow, you know, grown so harder and so tougher. So the best moment was when I said, when they told me, oh, you finished the best today. I said, so later on, even though I didn't finish first class again, but at least. We were just two marks close to first class. I was just two marks close to first class. But we thank God today. You know, my experience with female hostel while I was on campus was very funny. You know, I used to have this babe in Mozambique. And uh, when I'm done with my assignment, I would just, just go to our room to eat. <laughs> and, uh, I can't count many of them. Uh, we thank God all of them are doing well today. 
you know. There's nobody that doesn't have a past. We had fun. I mean, when I mean fun, we had fun. You know, the girls could testify. But uh, one thing I always do is that uh, I always make sure that I leave good experience with any woman or any lady that I, you know, that I come across with or I have encounter with. You know, sometimes we are more than me. We used to have them like that. And, you know. <laughs> And it was, it was a beautiful experience. I mean, thank God today. Uh, I'm married, happily married with a beautiful lady and my children. Thank you. Well, I think I need to use this opportunity to invite, to, to advise the young graduate that there's a best in everybody. There's a best in you. And you need to trade with that best. Now, I have turned my hobby, my hobby is art. I've turned it to my profession. So I think when you bring out the best in you, the world is sitting somewhere waiting to consume that originality you have. So as a, as a young graduate or as, you know, as an upcoming artist, I need you to just focus on your focus so that you you become the focus. The sky is very big enough, it's big enough for you to soar. And there's something that you need to sell that somebody is waiting to buy. So all you just need to do is to trade it. Trade it. Trade it. Trade it. There's a talent in you. Sit down, see it and discover it. And you will discover, you will see that. Your, your talent can transform the whole world. Your talent can change your own narrative. And your talent can motivate the next generation. So yeah, you Oh no! Ah, Shell Show. You guys are doing a great job. And I see you bigger as as big as BBC, I see you as big as CNN and, you know, the biggest media house in the world. So, I mean, we have a lot of creative intellectuals, we have a lot of amazing graduates of Obafemi Awolo University. By the time you, you pick everybody together, I believe the world needs to listen to our story. Because most of us, our story is from, it's like, a story of grass to grace, a story of rubbish to rubies, and we never lose focus to where we're going. So I believe you will be an avenue where people can be inspired about the lives of the life of OE graduates. So I think you should keep doing it and the world will stand still for you too. Thank you. Thank you.